Glory to God the Father and Son Yeshua Mashiach. Hebrews chapter 3 Superior to Moses in his work. Therefore, brothers whom God has set apart, who share in the call from heaven, think carefully about Yeshua, whom we acknowledge publicly as God's emissary and as Cohen Gadol. He was faithful to God, who appointed him, just as Moshe was faithful in all God's house. 1. But Yeshua deserves more honor than Moshe, just as the builder of the house deserves more honor than the house. For every house is built by someone, but the one who built everything is God, superior to Moses in his person. Also, Moshe was faithful in all God's house, as a servant giving witness to things God would divulge later. But the Messiah, as son, was faithful over God's house, and we are that house of his, provided we hold firmly to the courage and confidence inspired by what we hope for. Second warning, the danger of hardening the heart. Therefore, as the Ruach HaKodesh says, today, if you hear God's voice, don't harden your hearts, as you did in the bitter quarrel on that day in the wilderness when you put God to the test. Yes, your fathers put me to the test, they challenged me, and they saw my work for forty years. Therefore, I was disgusted with that generation, I said, their hearts are always going astray, they have not understood how I do things. In my anger, I swore that they would not enter my rest, too. Watch out, brothers, so that there will not be in any one of you an evil heart lacking trust, which could lead you to apostatize from the living God. Instead, keep exhorting each other every day, as long as it is called today, so that none of you will become hardened by the deceit of sin. For we have become sharers in the Messiah, provided, however, that we hold firmly to the conviction we began with, right through until the goal is reached. Now where it says, today, if you hear God's voice, don't harden your hearts, as you did in the bitter quarrel. 3. Who were the people who, after they heard, quarreled so bitterly, all those whom Moshe brought out of Egypt? And with whom was God disgusted for forty years? Those who sinned, yes, they fell dead in the wilderness. And to whom was it that he swore that they would not enter his rest? Those who were disobedient. So we see that they were unable to enter because of lack of trust.